super hot. What's going on YouTube? What's going on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? It's another episode of Big Pat Sports talking a little bit more breaking news for you today. Von Miller has been traded to the Rams from the Broncos for a second and third round pick in this year's in this year in this upcoming draft in 2022. Von Miller to the Rams is absolutely mind-boggling. I was talking about this guy the other day on one of, one of the giant streams. If we got this guy, would it change our pass rush? And I believe it would have. Um, obviously, the Rams believe so because they gave up a second and third round pick in this year's upcoming draft to get him. So now you have Von Miller, Aaron Donald, I believe Brockers, and Leonard Floyd across that defensive line. Folks, it just got a little bit more scary for the Rams. You got Jalen Ramsey in the backfield with your secondary. You got Aaron Donald, who can't be blocked by one man. Von Miller, who can't be blocked by one man. Leonard Floyd, who's, who's, who's coming along. He's playing a lot better than he was in Chicago. You got, you got a defense that was already ranked up there in the top of the league. And they just added Von Miller. Surefire Hall of Famer, 10 sacks waiting to happen, leader in the locker room, very well liked in the locker room. Now, now you got to worry about Aaron Donald and Von Miller. This defense for the Rams is a championship defense. It was already a championship defense before Von Miller came, but now that he's there, my goodness. And this brings me to a subject. Do 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 draft picks really matter when you're a Super Bowl caliber team? Obviously to the Rams it doesn't. Sean McVay has been getting rid of first round picks like water since he's been there. And the Rams have been relevant since he's been there. I know everybody say, yeah, you gotta build through the draft and all this, but look, the Rams haven't been traditional in building this team. The Rams have not been traditional building this team, and this team is a Super Bowl caliber team every year. Just came off a of Super Bowl not too long ago, about two, three years ago. Made the, the trade to get Jalen Ramsey, gave up multiple first round picks. Uh, gave up multiple first round picks to get Matthew Stafford. They seen that Jared Goff wasn't going to be really the guy to get there, so what McVay does, he goes out and get a this grown up Matthew Stafford for a couple of first round picks. Like I said, got Jalen Ramsey for a first round pick. Got Von Miller for a second and third round pick. These guys do not value picks over and, and with the Rams. And I have to say, they've done a pretty damn good job of not valuing those picks. Because not valuing those picks, they, they've brought veterans that are ready to win now. And will eventually get them to the Super Bowl. I believe the Rams are the team to beat in the NFC right now. Only team I really see beating them is maybe a Buccaneers. If they're on that game real type, that defense shows up. Aaron Rodgers is always going to give you a chance to win. And I just think they're a better team than the Cardinals overall. The Cardinals have to show me something in the playoffs. They have to show me something in the playoffs. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crown the Cardinals as, as as a dominant team and they haven't shown me anything in the playoffs. Let's see what Kyler Murray does in the playoffs. Good quarterback. No shot at Kyler Murray at all. He's a damn good quarterback, but I have to see what he does in the playoffs. The Rams are playoff proven. They have a quarterback that's that's top ten in the league. They got a top ten defense, top ten offense. 
top three coach and is it, it is a very good organization this organization wants to win and they want to win now now we'll say the pressure is mounting on the Rams now 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 Super Bowl bus now a Super Bowl bus now when you make a trade like this that means you really believe you're going to the Super Bowl so now a Super Bowl a bus Aaron Donald, you 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 got some major help across that defensive line now. I'm gonna say it now. There's no excuses for the Rams anymore now. No excuses. No excuses. You got Matthew Stafford, Henderson showing up at the running back position. You got a good offensive line. Higby at tight end. Woods, Cooper Cup. I'm my boy Van Jefferson from Florida. Man, you got weapons galore on this team. Defensive side of the ball. Your secondary is top notch. Your defensive line is top notch. Your linebackers are good. There's no excuses for this team anymore now. This 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 is major news for the Rams. I know Rams fans are going absolutely nuts right now. You got Von Miller and Aaron Donald on the same defensive line with Jalen Ramsey in the secondary. Man, you, you don't get much better than that, man. You don't get much better than that. These guys are primed and ready to make a Super Bowl run. This 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 move here make, just just guarantees that, man. It's crazy. Um, they got them for a second and third round picks. I'm not even going to say that's too much. Because really, you don't value those picks when you're the Rams. So yeah, you might give them a little bit more than what another team would give them. And if he comes and balls out, he's damn sure worth that second and third round pick. Who cares? Who cares about draft picks when you're getting all these veterans? Let's just say the prime of their careers. Because Von Miller's only, what, 31, 32? Mm -hmm. He's not no 38-year-old man. I believe he still has a lot left in the tank. You know Aaron Donald has a lot, lot left in the tank. Ramsey has a lot left in the tank. Stafford has a lot left in the tank. I mean, man, this, this, this Rams organization is bold, man. They make bold moves. They got rid of Todd Gurley. When everybody thought that he was the best running back in the league, now look at him. Not even in the league right now. And, and, and Sean McVay made the bold move to move on from him. Kudos to him. He made the bold move to get the get Jalen Ramsey from uh, Jacksonville when he was disgruntled. Good move for him. Jalen Ramsey still number one DB in the league. These guys make moves, man. They paid the money to bring in Leonard Floyd and let Dante Fowler walk. Good move. Good move. Got rid of Jerry Goff and brought in Matthew Stafford. Looking like a great move. Now you bring in Von Miller to add to the mix. Another good move. I wanted him to come to the Giants in the offseason. And I'm quite sure if they give up a second and third round pick, they're going to give him his money in the offseason. So look for uh, look for Von Miller to be around probably for the rest of his career. Look for the Rams to be up there near the top for the next two, three to four years, man. They got, they got, they got a nice little window to get, in, get to another Super Bowl. And I believe they have the firepower to beat the Packers, to beat the Cardinals, to beat the Buccaneers. I really think so. But this is breaking news, man. Von Miller traded to the Rams for a second and third round draft pick in 2022. And the Rams just got that much better. Great move by that organization. Great move by Sean McVay. And it just great move for that team in general that defense is looking scary right now Von Miller brings them anything to the table he brings them anything like the Von Miller of old and let's not let's not be haters this dude this dude was playing pretty well this year before before he was traded he had four and a half five sacks already on his way to another double digit sack year and they need they seen that Aaron Donald needed a little bit of help on that defensive line. Well, here you go. Here you go. That's what good organizations do. The good organizations find a way to get players to help their prime players to make this team better than to push for a Super Bowl. 
They don't care about draft picks and things like that. They don't care about what the media say or what the media might say. Oh, you made, you gave up too much for Jalen Ramsey. Oh, you gave up too much for Vaughn. Oh, you gave up too much for Matthew Stafford from Detroit. He gave up two, a first round, two first round picks for Matthew Stafford. Look how that's turned out. Good, or, good organizations work within themselves, come up with a plan, execute that plan, and let's see what happens on the field. That's what the Rams are doing. That's what Sean McVay brings. Brilliant mind. And this team, this this team is showing you how it's done, man. And I look for them to, to, to be, they're already contenders. I look for them to be in that NFC Championship game and see if Matthew Stafford can pull it out. That's what I'm looking forward to this year. But once again, breaking news, Von Miller is now a Los Angeles Ram. And it's looking scary over there in LA, folks. But if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get more, more notifications for more videos like these. Roll to a thousand subscribers, man. We're, we're rolling. Put I subscribe in the chat if you're a new subscriber. And until the next video, peace.